In this video, you will learn how to avoid echo and audio feedback in your hybrid meetings. In a hybrid meeting, you have some participants in a room together and others join that same meeting via video conferencing. You want to make sure that everybody can see and hear each other. A simple hybrid meeting setup can look like this. You have a conference speakerphone and a projector all connected to a laptop running Zoom. And the laptop also provides the first camera. Then you add a phone as a second camera by connecting it to the same meeting with the Zoom mobile app. This setup can lead to audio feedback and echo in the room like this. By the end of this video, you'll be able to get rid of that audio feedback and echo. And this is going to work regardless of if you use Android or iPhone. My name is Marcus Seppala. On this channel, I help you engage better with your audience. As always, there's links to everything I'm talking about in the description below this video, including a link to my full hybrid meeting setup. The basic problem that causes audio feedback in a hybrid meeting is that we have too many speakers and microphones in the room and the sound bounces around between all of them. In this example, we have a speaker and a microphone in the laptop. Same thing for the conference speakerphone, also in the phone. There could even be a speaker in the projector or maybe in your camera. For your reference, this is what the built-in microphone in my laptop sounds like. This is an audio sample of the built-in microphone in my Lenovo ThinkPad X250. And here's how that conference speakerphone sounds like. This is the Poly Callisto 7200. This is an audio sample of the Poly Callisto 7200 speakerphone connected via Bluetooth. The Poly Callisto 7200 obviously sounds a lot better than the built-in microphone and there's a link to it in the description below. This is going to be the basis of my setup today. So let's add a phone and see what happens. I'm going to start with adding my Android phone as a second camera. As you can hear, we immediately get lots of feedback and this is not usable. How about an iPhone instead? In this sample, the iPhone is unmuted. That sounded terrible and this is not usable in a hybrid meeting situation. The problem is that the phone microphone is picking up the sound from the speaker and you get this audio feedback. But now you might say, why don't you just mute the phone instead? Isn't that going to solve the problem? Well, let's try muting the phone. The phone is muted. In this sample, the Poly Callisto is working as a microphone and the speaker. The iPhone is muted. Here we are getting significant feedback as well. And it turns out that the microphone on the phone is not the only problem because the phone also has a speaker. So the sound from the speaker is coming through and is being picked up by the microphone connected to the laptop. Now you might say, why don't you just turn down the volume on the phone so that there's no sound coming out of the phone speaker. This actually doesn't work. When I'm running Zoom, I cannot turn down the volume to zero. It will end at a pretty low volume, but it's not going to be a zero. And this is the same on the Android and on the iPhone. So we've seen here that the problem arises when we have too many microphones and or speakers in our setup. But that also gives us a clue to the solution. The solution is in fact to disconnect the audio completely on the phone, not just mute it. Now I'm using the Poly Callisto 7200 as a speaker and as a microphone. And I have disconnected the audio on the Android phone. Here's how you do it on the Zoom app on Android. Tap the screen, then tap the menu, then tap disconnect audio. Hit the like button if you're getting value from the video. On the iPhone, the procedure is the same if I've already joined the meeting. But on my iPhone, I also have another opportunity to disconnect the audio. When I join a meeting, it asks me how do I want to connect to the audio in the meeting. And on this screen, I can just tap cancel and then my audio will be disconnected and I won't have this problem. After I disconnect the audio, the Zoom meeting will look like this. And most importantly, it will sound like this. In this sample, I'm using the Poly Callisto 7200 for input and for output, and I have disconnected the audio on the iPhone Zoom app. I'm going to share a bonus tip with you, actually two bonus tips in just a moment. 
If you'll be getting value from this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post a new video here every Thursday and they're always about helping you engage better with your audience. Bonus tip number one, there are two ways that you can join the meeting from your phone if you want to use it as a second camera. The first way, which I don't recommend, is to join as a normal participant. You click join meeting, enter the meeting ID and your password. Here's the second method, which is a lot quicker. Make sure that you're logged in into the same Zoom account from your phone as what you have running on the laptop. When you are logged in, you can access your list of meetings on your phone. Select the meeting that is running on the laptop and then click start. When you click start, it is not going to start another instance of that meeting. Rather, you're going to be joining that same meeting as a participant. So even though the button says start, this is essentially just joining it because you already started it on your laptop before. Bonus tip number two. When you have multiple devices connected to the same meeting from the same account, I recommend that you rename them so that the audience knows what's going on. For example, if you have one camera directed towards the stage in the room and the other camera directed towards the audience, I would just call them stage and audience respectively. If you want to find out which equipment I'm using for my hybrid meetings, click the link in the description below. And if you want to improve your own hybrid meetings and learn how to run them in the best way, then click or tap the screen right here. That's my full playlist of hybrid meeting videos. I already have 10 different videos on there going through different aspects of setting up and leading a hybrid meeting. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.